Terni is a delightful city in the heart of the southern part of Umbria in central Italy. This charming city has a population of approximately 111,000 and is self-styled as the city of lovers. The Nera River runs centrally through Terni and has been an important source of trade in eras past. In ancient times, Terni was settled in the 7th century by Umbrian tribes and it also became a Roman stronghold with a series of defensive fortifications. In later years it was embroiled in various feuds and wars between the rival factions in the communal Italy. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in Terni so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, Cascata del Marmor. Located in the Parco Fluvial del Nera, the Marmor Falls is one of the finest outdoor attractions in the region surrounding Terni. Whilst this waterfall may look natural, it is actually man-made and stands as the tallest man-made fall in the world. The Romans created Marmor in antiquity and it has been used as a source of power and to fill the nearby Pita Lucio Lake ever since. Marmor is a truly spectacular sight, and it is possible to see the falls being open witnessing the water crashing through the gates is something to behold. At number 9 is the Parco Fluvial del Nera. To the east of Terni you can find the wonderful protected area known as the Black River Park. This national park runs through the Valeno and Black Rivers and contains some fantastic sites such as the Marmor Falls. Covering 2,200 hectares, the park offers a myriad of opportunities for cycling and hiking. Starting from the small town of Marmor, you can hire a bike and explore the park. Other villages and towns such as Mandri and Kalistat are charming places to visit within a close distance of the park and can provide a respite from hiking or cycling. The varieties of tree and plant life here are for anyone who loves nature, this is a great place to find adventure. At number 8, Carsali. This is actually one of the most well-known and well-preserved ancient archaeological sites in the whole of Italy. Casually was an ancient town that was founded around 300 BC by settlers from the Roman Empire. Today, much of the town still remains and several of the important structures are still standing despite their immense age. Notable buildings include the Chiesa di San Damiano, the Basilica, the Public Baths, the Amphitheater, and the Theater. You can reach the site of Carsoli in approximately 25 minutes and there are regular bus tours that leave from the city guided tours are also available. At number 7, Roman Amphitheater. Terni has an ancient history and it stands to reason that it has several ancient structures that have been preserved from its Roman era. There is one such structure and can be found next to Terni Cathedral. Much of the original structure remains including sections of the outer walls and a whole section of the tiered oval seating. Parts of the theater have been restored and made accessible by modern walkways and performances are often held here if you have the chance to watch a performance here, the atmosphere is fantastic. To understand a little of Terni's history, a trip to this ancient structure is unmissable. At number 6 in our list, Duomo di Terni. Terni Cathedral is an impressive structure and features a strange design for a religious building it looks more like a palace than a place of worship. Originally created in the 6th century, this cathedral has seen many different iterations and was not official completed and consecrated until the 17th century. The front facade is simply stunning and features an arched portico that is topped with eight marble statues of prominent religious figures and saints. At number 5. Giardini Publici Lane Passeggiata. Located next to the Duomo and the Roman Amphitheater, this delightful garden is a great place to walk through and relax whilst sightseeing in the historic center of Terni. Starting at the Via Cavour, the garden and public park continues adjacent to the Viale Domenica Ginelli and past the beautiful Duomo. 
Within the park you can find a series of footpaths lined with gorgeous tall trees and several areas of lawn to relax upon. This is a great place to walk through when visiting the theater in Duomo and also often contains fairground rides or activities such as trampoline. At number 4, Lego di Piedilico. This impressive natural lake has a surface area of 1.58 square kilometers and is fed by the Valino and Nera rivers. Only 30 minutes to the east of Terni, this lake is a fantastic place to explore and features some gorgeous scenery and quaint towns that hug the shoreline. Hiking trails wind around much of the perimeter of the lake and provide great opportunities for hiking whilst walking on these trails you are granted with spectacular views of the lake and forests. Furthermore, on the northern side of Lake on the Corso Quattro November, there is a series of beautiful buildings, bars, and restaurants from which you can relax and simply enjoy the splendid scenery. At number 3 in our list, Parco Fluvial del Tevere. Aside from the amazing Parco Fluvial del Nera, Terni is in close proximity to another fantastic park, the Parco Fluvial del Tevere. You can reach this protected area in approximately 50 minutes and it is located next to the Lago di Corbara. This is a beautiful area of Italy and spans six different municipal areas including Terni. Much of the park is covered with wetland vegetation and there is several mountainous areas that provide fantastic views of the surrounding region. At number 2, Spoleto. To the north of Terni you can find the beautiful town of Spoleto. This town has direct railway links to Terni and regular trains travel between the two cities. The journey takes approximately 30 minutes. This charming town has a population of just 38,000 and records have shown this town was settled as early as 241 BC. Notable sites in this fantastic town include the Cathedral of Santa Maria, the impressive hillside Rocca Castle, the ancient Roman theater, and the Church of San Pietro with its ornate facade. If you have saturated your sightseeing in Terni, Spoleto presents a great destination to explore. Check out the number one places in our list, Nera River. Terni is bisected by the beautiful Nera River. This river is 116 kilometers long and is a tributary of the Tiber. The section of river running through Terni is lined with some fantastic scenery and landscapes and efforts have been made to maintain the full course of the river without interference from modern buildings. Footpaths run along much of this stretch of river and present a fantastic option for those who love walking and being outdoors. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Terni. Is there something we missed let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.